Hey everybody, Ronaldo Wofferman here with RKS Grand VJ Video Manuals. Today I'm going to talk to you about the auto player that is found on version 2.1 and higher. I'm using 2.11. It's not as advanced as their big sister, Media Masters Q Player, but it definitely gives you something you can go on so you can automate your shows a little bit, or if you're doing demos, like I'd use this at a bridal show to demo a cake map that I did. So that way it was changing the visuals and I didn't have to sit there and monitor it the whole time. So to fire it up, first thing we want to do is we want to hit the settings right over here. And we've got a couple different things. We've got audio beat detection. If I have that, it's basically going to go to the beat. If I have this checked, I can't overwrite it. If I don't have that checked, it's going to go based on how I tap this particular square here, just like on a DJ software. Random and sequential, when it's checked, it's just going to choose any random clip from your particular bank. When it's unchecked, it's going to go in order. And then beat divisor, it's right now set for 8 beats per minute. You can go from 1 to 100. If I wanted to just play really slow clips, a lot of times I'll just have it like maybe halfway, and then I'll tap this just to, you know, either fast or slow, so I can control how fast or slow I want the uh, videos to change if I don't want them going to the beat. The last one is the layer. I'm going to choose layer 7 because layer 8 has my watermark. So let's take it back down to 8 beats a minute. Or, excuse me, 8 beats a minute. Let's take it down to 8 beats for every switch, right? And we're just going to have it on audio beat detection, just so you can see how that works. And for now, I'm going to leave it on my first one here because there's only a few visuals. So you can see how it goes from one to the other. So we're going to go ahead and auto. All right, it's running that. It's going to the next one. Now it's going to go to the next one. There it is right there. Now it's going to go to the next one, which is all white. Ooh, then my A Premier Entertainment logo. And then our wedding division, my dream reception. There it is. Now it's going to go right back to the very beginning. Now, if I go ahead and hit the random or sequential, hit OK. Now, what's going to happen is, now this is going to go randomly. Huh, look at that. Who would have thought? Now, I can go to a different bank, and I can still continue messing with things. So, I can have this running over here. All right. Or I can shut this off, and I can hit shut off auto, have it going back to auto again, and it's back on 7 because that's what layer I told it to do. Now you can only run one of these at a time. So if you need to run multiple clips or multiple layers, that's not going to work. Those are the kind of features that you would want to look into Media Master. But if you need something simple like this, this is perfect. Now let's go ahead and do the audio beat detection. Let's shut that off. Let's shut off random or sequential. And let's just do one, right? So basically, the faster I click it, the faster it switches. If I just click really slowly then it's going to take a bit before it changes. So I can go over here now and bring this up a bit. And it's going to play the visual for a while before it decides to switch it out. If it switches it too fast, then I can bring this up a little bit, or if it's too slow, I can bring it down. Just a different idea to basically make it more like a timer than anything else. And if you sit there and do the math of BPM and how many frame or how many beats before it switches frames, you can kind of figure it out. Uh, as far as how long you can play each clip. But anyhow, I hope that really helps out. I'm a big fan of this particular feature. Hope you are as well. Guys, any questions or anything like that, please be sure to let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Good night and God bless.